to my channel today we're going to be learning how to make this rastafarian dress this dress was inspired by the famous pinterest dress that you'll be seeing in the photos this was the inspiration that i got and i changed the construction a bit to suit my design uh, for the materials you're going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook which is this it's an f hook and then uh, you'll need two darning needles. I use two because I'm using the one with a bigger eyelet to weave in my ends for the dress. But this one, this smaller one, is to attach my two buttons. So that means you also need two buttons. The buttons shouldn't be too big or too small. And then you'll need a pair of scissors. And the yarn that I'm going to be using is Robin. So for this project, I'm going to be using two strands of yarn held together. This is because Robin is a small fingering yarn. So if this is a disclaimer, if you have a thick yarn, you don't need to double your strand. This is a question that pops up on my channel most of the times. If you have a thickness that is uh, thick enough, you need to use one strand. But I couldn't use this because I didn't have the colors that I required to make my dress. So I'm going to be using black, yellow, green, red, which are the Rastafarian colors. Um, this is going to be a two-in-one video. So we are going to learn how to make the top first, then we shall learn how to make the dress to transform the top into the dress and all the adjustments in between. I'm going to be walking you through the whole process. So if you would like the top, stick around. And if you would also like the dress, then this is the best place to be. So uh, let's get into the video and see how this works out. So to start this project, you're going to start with your green color and you're going to grab your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to make a chain of 20 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty so we have our 20 chains and we are going to chain two more and we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook so one two three and into the fourth you're going to place your double crochet there and you're going to continue to place one double crochet into each and every chain So we are in our very last chain and I'm placing my double crochet there. You should have a total of 20 double crochets if you count the first chain three as a stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we are now going to be working all the way around to the opposite side. So that means we are going to place two more double crochets into the same exact last chain. So go in there with two more double crochets like that. And you're going to chain two and place three double crochets into the same exact chain. So we have that and you can see our work has turned to the opposite side. So uh, you're going to go into the chains at the back of your chain. I know they are not as visible as uh, the ones on this side, but go into each and every chain with one double crochet. And as I work this row, I'm weaving in the tail from the beginning of our slip knot. I'm weaving in this tail as I go. So 
So go into each and every chain. And don't forget to go into the very last chain, which is attached to the first chain three. So this is what you should be having. That marks the end of your row one. And after this, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. Leave a tail to within. That marks the end of our very first color. So we're going to color B, which is uh, yellow so you're going to grab your yellow and you're going to make a slip knot and this is where we ended our row so you're going to turn your work and you're going to attach your yellow into the very last double crochet that you did touch with a slip stitch and you're going to chain two that will count as our very first double crochet so this double crochet is attached to the very first stitch so you're going to go into the next double crochet with a double crochet and you're going to continue to place one double crochet into each double crochet until you reach the chain to space at the top of our broke up So I'm almost approaching the chain to space. So I'll place one double crochet into the very last stitch before the chain to space. And I'll go into the chain to space with two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets into the same space. And then you're going to go all the way down into each and every remaining stitch with one double crochet until the end of your row. So don't forget to place one double crochet on top of the very first chain three. Make sure you don't miss it, otherwise your the base of your broke up is going to be curved, which we don't want. We want it straight. So this is the end of row two. You're going to chain one and cut your yarn. Leave a tail. And then we're going to our third color, which is black. And you are going to attach your yarn just like you did for your second color. Make a slip knot and attach into the very last double crochet that you did for the yellow with a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain two and that counts as our very first double crochet. And then double crochet into each and every stitch. We're going to continue to place double crochets until we get to the chain two space. So this is how your work will look like. When you get to the chain two space, you are going to place your two double crochets in the chain two space. So we have our two double crochets there and you're going to make a chain of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now you're going to count to the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to place your double crochet. I hope you can 
uh, see what I'm doing because it's a black but I'm going to try as much as I can to explain what is going on so after your double crochet you're going to go into each and every chain after that with a double crochet Okay, so after your double crochet into the very last chain, you're going to go in that space on top of the double crochet. There's that space here on top. You're going to go into it with a double crochet. And then you are going to double crochet into that double crochet space. So here, you're going to do two double crochets in that space. And after that, you're going to go into the chain two space with two double crochets like that. And then you're going to continue all the way down, placing one double crochet into each and every um, stitch until the end of your row. So you should notice that your cup is forming. You should ha have a depression somewhere here. Like that. And don't forget to go into the very last stitch with a double crochet. And then you're going to chain one cut your yarn and you're going to be introducing our next color which is red this is how your work should look like at this point so I'm going to grab my red color make a slip knot and attach into the very first double crochet with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain two this counts as a double crochet and you're going to go into each and every stitch all the way up and by up I mean you're going to go all the way up until you get to the last stitch on this side Okay, so I'm coming to the last stitch on this side because I don't consider this a stitch, the chain three. So I've placed my last stitch on onto this stitch. So I have my chain three here. I haven't worked anything in it. So you're going to go into that uh, space and place two double crochets and we're going to make another extension just like the black one. So chain nine. And go into the fourth chain from the hook, which is this one. Go in there with a double crochet. And double crochet into each and every chain all the way down. Until you get to the body of the bra cup. So I've placed my last double crochet into the last chain and now I'm going to place one double crochet on top of the double crochet here. There's that space at the top. Then uh, I'm going to place two double crochets in this double crochet space. And after that I am going to go into that same exact space with the two, dou with the two double crochets. And I'm going to place two more double crochets, one and two. And I'm going to go into each and every chain. Remember this was a chain, so you're going to go into each and every chain with one double crochet.
and make it all the way down to the end of your row. Try your best not to leave big gaps behind. If you feel like it's necessary for you to place two double crochets somewhere, please do it. So I'm going to continue with my row until I get to the bottom of the back up. So I have placed my last double crochet into the very last stitch. I hope you can see what I'm doing clearly. Okay, so after cutting here, we're going to go back to our very first color. I don't know what colors you used, but for me that was green, because I'm using green, yellow, black, red, and I'm going with the flow of that green, yellow, black, red for the bra cup. So that means I have to reintroduce green for row, row five. Make a slip stitch into the very first stitch. And you're going to chain two, count as a stitch, then go into the next stitch with a double crochet and double crochet all the way up to the top of the red extension all the way up to here. So after making it all the way up like this, you are going to go into that chain three at the top into that space and you're going to place two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets. We are no longer doing the extensions because we have gotten the length that we want. So after two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, you're going to go into the next stitch with a double crochet and double crochet all the way down to the bottom of your bra cup. So after placing your last double crochet into the very last stitch, you are going to chain one and cut your yarn. And now we're going to our next color. So following my color combination, my next color should be yellow. So I'm going to grab my yellow color. And this row is also going to just be a plain row of uh, double crochets then when you get to the top two double crochets chain two two double crochets then just like you do your normal bra cup i'll show you attach your yarn chain two counts as a stitch and then you're going to double crochet all the way up until you get to your chain two space So when you make it to the top, you are going to go into the chain two space with two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets all in the same space. And then you're going to go all the way down into each and every stitch with one double crochet until you get to the base of your bra cup. So I'm almost coming to the end of my yellow row. And I'm placing my very last stitch into the last uh, double crochet of green. So after this, you chain one, cut your yarn. That marks the end of the yellow row. 
and for me uh, I'm going to do a total of seven rows so I have one two three four five six that means I have one more row left and that's going to be in black because following my color combination the next color after yellow is black so I'm going to grab my black and black is basically going to be the same exact as the yellow row you are going to attach your yarn as usual okay like that and you're going to chain two and double crochet all the way up So since this is not so visible because of the lighting, I'm going to just explain. You're going to go all the way up, placing one double crochet into each and every stitch. And when you get to the chain two space, you're going to place two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, all in the same space, just like we did for the yellow row. And then you'll go down using uh, one double crochet into each and every stitch. I'll meet you guys back after this row. So we are coming to the end of our black row and I'm placing my very last stitch into the last row, uh, the last stitch of yellow. And after this, I am not going to cut my yarn because I need to attach this to a second bra cup. But at this point, I am done with my coverage. If you want a bigger coverage, I would advise you to do some more rows like two to three that will depend on your size but the actual coverage is actually around here around there because this is going to be way above your breast so the actual coverage is around here so if you want it bigger you're going to do some more rows if you want it smaller then i would advise less rows so you're going to go ahead and make a second cup identical to the first one that we did should make sure the sizing is almost accurate and this is what you should have and for this one I cut my yarn after my last row but for this one I didn't cut it because I'm going to use this same exact yarn to join this corner to the other corner so after this you're going to grab your second bra cup and go into the very first stitch and make a slip stitch make sure it's firm and then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn I'm very sorry for using black as the boundary but I hope you can understand the explanation so the bra cups are joined at this point and you're going to go ahead and within all your ends we don't want these tails to show so i'll just get there are two strings at every point there are two colors so i get the green and the yellow and that i make a knot two times or three times depends on what you prefer and then cut that if you prefer to Weave in your ends with a dunning needle. Please go ahead and do that. But I'm going to just make double knots at every point and cut. So you're going to go ahead and do this and I'll meet you guys back when I don't have any loose ends at the bottom of my bra cups and then I'll show you what to do next. Alright so after getting rid of all these strings this is what you should have. We're going to put this aside for now. And you're going to be doing something different we're going to be working on the rib cage area the coverage for our rib cage so you're going to take a measurement for your under bust right be below your breasts 
and you're going to take that measurement and make a chain that goes around your rib cage when stretched. For me, that was 120, 115, and my underbust measurement is my underbust measurement is 30 inches. So um, I have my slip knot, and I'm going to make my chain of 115. So after your chain of 115, you're going to chain two more and go into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to place a double crochet and continue to double crochet in each and every chain. I'm going to walk you through this real quick because uh, the stitches are also not that visible. So let me just explain a few things. You will make it all the way to the end of your chain, all the way to the end. And then when you get to the end, you will chain one and cut your yarn. So, if I can demonstrate something real quick here. So let me assume I have finished my row here. I've done my 115 double crochets all the way across. You will chain one and cut your yarn and then go on to the second color, which is yellow. And I want to show you how to attach your yarn. We are going to just do it the same exact way as we've been doing for the bra cup. Make a slip knot and then attach in the very last stitch. Make a slip stitch, chain two, and then double crochet into each and every um, stitch across. So we are going to have the same number of double crochets for a total of um, eight rows or until you get to the, uh, the level of your belly button. That's all you're going to do. Double crochet back and forth, back and forth until you have a length that's up to your belly button. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to introduce the actual piece, which is this one. I decided to start with black because this is the, the part that's going to rest right below the bra cups. So this is my 115. I did a total of eight rows because uh, these bra cups are quite long actually. They're, they don't sit right below the breast. They go beyond somewhere around here. So uh, with this extension, this measurement makes it to my belly button. So uh, you're going to grab your black yarn and we're going to do an edging at the base of our bra cups. So put this away. I hope you did a total of eight or whatever number of uh, rows that you needed to get to your belly button. Just plain rows of double crochets. So uh, you're going to identify the right side of your work. So I'll take this as my right side and you're going to work this row of single crochets on the right side of your work. So go into the uh the black row, the double crochet space of the black row and attach your yarn, chain one, and you're going to place two single crochets into each row. Those are two into the yellow row, place two single crochets, two single crochets into the green row, and that's all we are going to do all the way across.
So we are putting this row of single crochet so that we get where to uh, if we are to attach the bottom of the ribcage coverage it can be neat all right so two single crochets into the black row and this is what I'm talking about so we're just doing this so that we have a uniform base for our bra cups so that you don't have changing colors So since I had seven rows, uh, that means I have 40, uh, seven on this side, seven on this side, which makes it 14. 14 times two is 28, 28 times two, because we have two bra cups, that will be a total of 56 single crochets. Okay, so we have our row of um, single crochets across and after this I'm going to chain one and I am going to leave a long strand for attaching pull through And now uh, we are going to reintroduce this piece. You're going to just fold it into half and identify the exact middle stitch. So for me, this is the middle section of this panel. Something like that. And all I'm going to do is to count 28 stitches to this side and 28 stitches to this side so that I can attach. So since the tail is on this side, I'm going to count 28 stitches to this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 28 is here so all I'm going to do is to mark it mark that stitch and we are going to turn our work to the wrong side this will be my wrong side and since I'm right-handed that means I am going to go into both stitches and I'm going to single crochet across stitch to stitch all the way across until I get to the end of the second bra cup. You can also use a darning needle to do this, but I've chosen to use single crochets because I feel like it's stronger to give it a firm attachment, as you can see here. So let me go ahead and do that all the way across until I get to the end of the second bra cup. And I'll meet you back when I have that ready. 
so at this point i'm done attaching my bra cups and i'll chain one and cut my yarn so this is what everything looks like These are the bra cups and this is the bottom so i'm going to get rid of all the loose ends especially the ones on the sides just like we did for the bottom of the bra cups and i'll be back to show you what to do next so all the loose ends are gone this is how the edges look like. This is how the back of my work looks like. I can tell that it's the back because that's where I placed my single crochet row and it bulges outwards. So that means the side without the single crochet bulge is the right side of my work. So the next thing that we're going to do is to attach straps. We are going to be making long straps at the corners of our bra cups i'm going to just make plain chains because i have a lot going on on this top and i don't want to make it more complicated so i'll attach my yarn in the chain to space at the top of my bra cup and i'll make a, a long chain of about 200 so make your 200 chains after that, cut your yarn and attach here and do the same exact thing. Or 300 chains, it's really up to you. But I'll do a total of 200. Alright, so after your two straps, this is how your work will look like. I have my... Uh, sorry, I have my 200 chains on both sides. So I've turned my work to the wrong side. You can see that ridge. And I'm going to cross over the one of this side onto this side. And I'm going to lace it up through uh, two stitches of black. So after two stitches of black, just pass it through like that. And then you bring this one on this side and pass it through the black row after two stitches. Okay, so we are lacing it up so that we get a good fitting for our top. So it will create an X at the back and then skip one row and into the green row you're going to skip two stitches and put through. Do the same exact thing on this side. And then skip the red row and go into the black. So we are just lacing it up like a shoelace. This is what I usually do for my bralettes. So this is what you're creating, that zigzag pattern. And continue to do this all the way down your top. And this is what you'll have after this you're going to just tie a knot and that is the end of our top this is how it has come out i'm going to attach some photos of the finished product on my So the other thing that I noticed after making the top, if you are going to make just a top, I would prefer you reduce the length of this. You don't make it until it can cover all the way around your uh, rib cage. Reduce a bit so that you can have some space to pull those uh, the strands for lacing up. Uh, but if you're going to do the dress, then no need to do that because we are going to join it and then we continue working downwards. So that's uh, a disclaimer that I have to point out because I know some people are going to just stop at the top. But for those who would like to make the dress, you're going to just go ahead and do the same exact instructions as I had given you before. 
for your next straw we are now turning this top into the dress so you're going to grab your next color for me that's black and this time we're going to attach our black color onto the very first stitch chain two and we're going to double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around we're going to start working in rounds so that we can form the skirt part of this dress because the top part is already finished So go all the way around i'll meet you back at this point all right so i've made it around and i've placed my last double crochet into um the last stitch and this time around we are going to join into the round uh since i told you from now on we are going to be working in rounds we're going to go on top of the chain two at the beginning of our row and we are going to make a slip stitch So from now onwards, we are going to be working in rounds. So you're going to chain one and cut your yarn and introduce your next color. For me, that will be yellow. And make sure you turn for every round that you make. So what that means is you're always going to be working in the opposite direction of the previous round. So since this one was coming like this, so that means I have to turn my work around and work in the opposite direction. So I have my yellow yarn here. But before we attach it, we have to mark some points on our work. You're going to lay your work flat. Something like that. Make sure it's balanced. And we are going to mark two points get a contrasting color so you're going to mark this point and this point we're going to start doing increases on those two points so that we create uh, the increases for our hip coverage so I'm going to put my yellow if you have stitch markers well and good I don't have mine here so I'll be using uh, yellow strands and mark those points okay so now that we've marked those two points we're going to start working our yellow round so go to the back and attach your yarn into the very first stitch make sure you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row so that the same line can be in one line, one straight line instead of slanting. So chain two and then one double crochet into each and every stitch until you get to your stitch marker. So go all the way until here. I'll meet you guys at the stitch marker. So right now I'm at the stitch before the stitch with a stitch marker. I'm going to remove that stitch marker and into that stitch that had the stitch marker, you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next stitch and replace the stitch marker in that stitch. So the stitch after the increase you're going to replace the stitch marker there and then continue to place one double crochet into each and every stitch until you get to the next stitch marker so 
So I'll meet you guys at this point. So I've made it to the stitch before the stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and place two double crochets in that stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch. Replace your stitch marker in that stitch after the increase. There, put it back and then continue to double crochet once in each and every stitch until the end of your round. Because now we are making it around up to this point where we started our round from. So I've made it all the way around and I've placed my last double crochet into the last stitch. I'm going to go into the very first chain two. On top of the first chain two and I make my slip stitch there. Chain one and cut. Now we are going to our next color and we shall be working in this direction instead. The opposite direction of the previous row so keep that in mind so you're going to grab your next color mine is going to be green and i am going to make my slip knot and attach my yarn into the very first stitch. Chain two. And then uh, from now on, we are going to repeat the yellow round that we just made until we get our hip measurement when stretched. Because I want this to be a body hugging dress. So uh, I'm going to consider 38 inches for hip measurement. If your size 40, then uh, you'll consider 40 inches for your hip measurement. But you're going to just repeat the yellow round. I'm going to just show you one more time when you get to the stitch marker. So that I remind you of what to do and then you'll carry on until you get your hip measurement. So we've reached the stitch before the stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker into from the next stitch and then place your two double crochets. And then place one double crochet into the next stitch and replace your stitch marker in the stitch you just made. And then continue to place one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the second stitch marker and do the same and then finish up your round. So I'm going to continue to repeat this round until I get to my hip measurement, which is 39, 38. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be considering 38. So I went off camera to work some increase rows and I did a total of about eight rows of increases and I stopped so uh, I wasn't in office to record the whole process but after my uh, after my eight rows of uh, increase I got my hip measurement that I wanted remember I told you I'll consider 38 hip measurement so divide by two is 19 inches and this can stretch up to 19 inches you can see that it 
you can stretch up to 19 inches and the moment I got that measurement I removed the stitch markers and I started going down straight without any increases that means um, every stitch was getting one double crochet all the way around and I'll continue that until I get the length of the dress that I need so this is how everything is coming together I'll be attaching a photo for you so far where we are and I'm going to push this dress up to the length that I want my dress to be and then I'll come back and show you what to do next this is how the back looks like you can see the seam line is in one straight line and then we still have the opening that came from the top so that's how everything is coming together and I'll see you again when we are finalizing so uh, I'm back and I have made a total of 37 rows right from the very first uh, row of black I have a total of 37 rows and that's the length that I want for my um, for my dress and this is how everything looks like you can see that everything is straight here then these were the rows of increases that provide the coverage for our hip measurement and then from there you just go down so uh, the next thing that you're going to do is to get your small darning needle this is the small one because it's going to help us attach the buttons so you're going to come to this section of your dress the one with the opening you're going to decide which side is going to overlap the other so for me the main neat side is this one you can see this one is not so neat so i'll have this neat side overlap this one something like that so uh, you can tell that when we just do this we are going to have a loose fitting in our waist area this is optional because some people have large waists so if this works for you this is great but I'm considering someone who has a small waist and bigger hips so just like my model this would be very big for her waistline so that's why i'm overlapping this piece over the one below so you're going to get your button your first button and you're going to place it here at the edge of the piece that's going to be overlapped the downer piece so the first thing that we're going to do is to attach that So after attaching this button, I'm going to just make a triple knot at the back and then cut. So that's the first button, it's attached. And now the other thing that you're going to do is to get your second button. And we are going to attach it. You're going to overlap your dress so that you get a comfortable fitting around your waistline. So I don't know what your waistline measurement is, but this is supposed to be your waistline measurement divided into half because we have one, this side and the other side at the back. So uh, you're going to just make sure it comfortably goes around your waist. If you want a tight fitting, make sure you pull it up to that point where it's comfortable for you. So. I'm going to attach my second button there. So at this point you can take away the darning needle and the buttons. This is what you have. This is the side that's going to be overlapped. So you're going to get the overlapping side and you're going to skip two stitches from the edge. You're going to button up this second button. So your buttons shouldn't be so big and neither should they be so small. So this, this is what we have. And now you're going to stretch this side of the second button 
and find the most suitable place to, to button it up. So for me, this is, this is what we have. I've buttoned it up. And when we wear this dress, don't worry about this because your butt is literally going to be in here and it will stretch out this uh, imbalance and it will look like um, it's well fitted but there's a gap here though we don't have to worry about it because even when it opens up we don't see anything of your we don't see any of your skin here so that's it for the back side and when you go to the front side you can see that the skirt part of the dress has been shaped very well a small waist and then widening of the hips and then the constant rows of double crochets so that's basically it these chaps uh, for those who trade out the top first i would recommend you reduce the size of the straps the length of the straps because uh, they were too long for the top so uh, from here you're just going to tie a knot and this is the one that's going to go around your neck as seen on my model and that's basically it I hope you guys had fun creating this piece I will see you in my next video thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel